Hello. Hey, it's been it's been a while since I produced some content on the channel, and there's a good reason for that. Uh, there is going to be a lot of content coming. That's because Tiger and I have been working on getting the old set working again. Uh, it's taking a little longer than we expected because uh, we have to replace some equipment and some new stuff is coming. Not everything is here. Um, the minimum needed to get that working is here, but we are waiting for some other stuff still. Uh, had to get a new USB hub because the one we were using died. Uh, uh, got the green, got the OBS working on the server with green screen. Got that working. Got the new uh, LED lights working. Got it working with the webcam. All that stuff is working, but that hub has to be replaced because everything that we tried to put on it was just messing up. Our mouse would just shut off and on. You wouldn't hear the Windows dun -dun 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 noise, but it would stop working. You would see the you would see the um, LEDs on it stop working. It's the same mouse as I use in here. It is the Red Dragon MMO mouse, and then lights would come on and off, and and it would stop working. And it would happen if we had the webcam plugged in. So we have the webcam directly plugged into the machine and we have other stuff plugged in directly into the machine and it's working okay but we need that hub because the Steam Deck uh, plugs into that for controlling OBS and all that other jazz and this is Cali this is the baby So we're still working on getting that up and running, and so I've got some content planned for Resort Central and Gamers Bay using that set. I'll still do streaming in here, here in my messy bedroom. You know, stuff like Star Citizen, now that 3.15 is out, and 3.15.1 is coming very soon. Uh, that's coming very soon, and that's going to be, uh, it's already a huge update, and so I've got some videos planned to uh, address a lot of the changes that have been coming to the game, as well as some of the latest news that we've been given about server meshing, and exactly what that is, what it's going to do, it's, it's, it's enormous, uh, it's, it's transformative. For that game, in fact, that technology could transform MMOs as we speak of, uh, just, just MMOs in general, if other MMORPGs ever were to adopt that tech, it would change them. Anyway, that's up for future content. Also, got a new 3D printer and I'm thinking of what? What could we do with a, to incorporate 3D printing into the channel? We're, we're a gaming channel. What could we do to incorporate 3D printing into it? And I thought maybe we could produce something that we could maybe sell. So we're, we're thinking about um, what we could make uh, with PLA and ABS and we can use other materials like PETG. This printer is supposed to be able to handle that. So, uh, well, we still have the old printer and I'm gonna put that up on eBay if this new one works out really well. This new one, it was not a cheap printer. We needed a new one because we needed to print something for someone and we could print PLA, but we were having trouble getting ABS to print because we couldn't get the bed of the printer to get hot enough for the ABS to adhere to it. And we do have uh, captain tape on the heated bed. Now this is an old printer. We have to use an old out-of-date version of Kura in order to make it uh, work. 
new versions of Kuro won't work with this printer. It's an old printer bot. Printer bot is a Canadian company that no longer exists. The printer is a simple metal. So that printer is old. It's like how how old is that? It has to be at least five or six years old. So it's an older model, and the it's the metal. It is a all metallic version of their original printer, which was made out of laser cut wood. Believe it or not, actually um, plywood. Yeah, <laughs> they made a la they made a 3D printer out of plywood and some metal parts. This is the metal metallic version of it. And the new printer is completely different. It's, it's um, I think it's Forgeworks Adventure 4. Yeah, it's, it's a newer version, heated bed, enclo it's, it's enclosed, has a HEPA filter in it, even has a camera inside so we can watch it uh, print and it will connect to the network for printing. We've had other issues too, like our ISP. Uh, another reason why I haven't been streaming is because our ISP has been messing up. We were down for four nights. Today is the first time our internet connection has been working after the sun goes down. Because it's getting colder here and the cold has been knocking us offline. And this is the first day in four days that we've been able to stay online at night and have a, have a somewhat stable connection during the day. This is the first time in like half a week. So that was going on. So that's why I, I wanted to stream, but I couldn't for four freaking days. I was going to stream tonight some Star Citizen, but I decided to hold off, do this video instead because um, I won't be able to use the set until we get everything finished in there. But we got a new scanner. We've got the new 3D printer. We're going to be rearranging the um, music station. I'm learning keyboard. So we've got, uh, we're going to be redoing the music station where I learn the keyboard. That's going to be moving. Uh, I may not incorporate that into the channel because of copyright BS. Unless I can, unless I do songs that are uh, not copyrighted, but uh, that's going to be over there, and basically that. So we've got stuff coming all next week, so it's going to be at least another week before I can use the set. But I'm going to try and get some more content out before then. Uh, some interesting stuff talking about. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Uh, talking about uh, different things. I've got another episode of The Professor in the works. Gotta get that going. I wasn't able to do that because that requires VR chat and that required an internet connection and we didn't have one for four days. <sighs> at least at night. And we do most of our work at night because we're vampires and we sleep during the day. Blah. Yeah, for some reason we can't stay awake during the day. We can barely stay awake during the day, and we we do our we we function better. We function better, not. Uh, 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 uh. For some reason around here, and Tiger has been working on a a project of his own that has been requiring an internet connection, and the internet's been down, and all this other crap. It's it's been a mess, and the room in there is a complete mess right now. None of it's functional. Um, we got it minimally functional, but then that hub started messing up. So, just uh, wanted to let you know what's going on with the channel, why you haven't seen me, or any of the content that I said was coming. It is coming, and 
expect uh, things to pop up. I'm going to be doing a weekly show for Resort Central in there with the green screen. Uh, so look forward to that. Should everything up by next weekend, and that's when I'll have the first new episode of the show. And I also, before that, I will be doing stuff on Star Citizen and other uh, related videos, and also the professor. So they came out tonight, fixed our fixed our internet. We had to call them three times to get them to come out here. We, we pay like through the nose for high-speed unlimited internet. I mean, we, we pay more than what the lot this house sits on costs in order to get unlimited internet. We are looking very seriously at Starlink. Very seriously. If we can't use it here because we don't have enough um, view of the sky, a clear view of the sky, we'll use it when we move. Because we'll be looking for a place that'll have more than enough room that we can set it up, maybe even put it on a tower, and put the dish on a tower and be able to use that. You can stream over Starlink, you can game over Starlink, uh, just fine. It's very low latency satellite internet. It's not like HughesNet where you can't do any of that on HughesNet because the satellite's too high. Because it's in geostationary or orbit, and that's it's like thousand. It's it's like several times the distance away, and Starlink uses multiple satellites in low orbit. Anyway, uh, just let you know that's what's going on, and let you know the content's coming, and we will have the sets ready, or the set ready. Oh, it's a kitty cat, good kitty cat. He's being a good girl. Right. Thanks for watching.